What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here. Apple's iPhone 5 keynote just ended. We got a ton of awesome stuff to recap and run through. Let's go ahead and get started. I want to thank the folks at Nissan's Innovation Garage for sponsoring our iPhone 5 coverage. There was a ton of stuff that was announced, so if you see me look down, it's because I got notes. I got pages and pages and pages of notes here on my iPad. So first, Tim Cook came out, talked about Apple retail stores. They've been awesome. Then they moved over to Mountain Lion, had over 7 million Mountain Lion downloads, the fastest selling version of OS X yet. iPads, they sold 17 million iPads last quarter, 84 million total of and sold. Them is a ton of iPads. Uh, and they have now 68% of the tablet market share and they sold more iPads than any PC manufacturer sold their entire PC lines. Over 400 million iOS devices have been sold. And then that was it. We got right to the iPhone 5. 13 minutes into the event, Phil Schiller came up on stage and we got right to it. And the iPhone 5 is the official name, regardless if it's sixth generation phone or whatever. It's called the iPhone 5. And it looks just like the leaked images. There were very, very, very few surprises. So it's made entirely of aluminum and glass or aluminum, depending on where you live. It's the thinnest and lightest iPhone yet. It's 7.6 millimeters thin. That's 18% thinner than the already pretty felt iPhone 4S. It weighs 112 grams, so that makes it 20% lighter than the iPhone 4S. Retina display, still there with the 326 PPI, but the screen is bigger to the surprise of no one. Four inches with a resolution of 1136 by 640. First party apps have been updated as well to show more information, so calendar shows more information, maps shows all kinds of stuff. Old apps are gonna run letterbox, so there'll be a little black around them. A lot of questions about how Apple is gonna handle old apps. That's how they're gonna do it. No upscaling, no pixel stuff. They're just gonna be letterbox. And then, what I've been waiting for to hear at an iPhone LTE is coming. Yes, and it's coming to all US carriers that carry the iPhone. AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint are all gonna be getting their LTE on as well as a ton of international markets as well. It's being powered by a new A6 chip. They didn't say if it was quad core, we figured if it was quad core, they would have said something. Two times faster CPU and two times faster graphics compared to the A5 chip. It's gonna even exceed the battery life of the iPhone 4S. LTE drains battery super fast, but Apple did some tweaking to make sure battery life was going to be improved. You're gonna get 225 five hours of standby, uh, eight hours of LTE browsing. Camera also got a big fatty upgrade. Uh, eight megapixel camera with backside illumination, hybrid IR filter, five element lens, F2.4 aperture, dynamic low light, and the new Sapphire Crystal. It's gonna result in 40% faster photo captures. You can shoot 1080p video, get improved video stability at, and face detection. The FaceTime camera, so now the front facing camera is also HD at 720p. What about that crazy dock that we've been hearing about? Did it come true? It did, and it's called Lightning. So we now have Thunderbolt and Lightning. It's an all digital eight signal design. It's reversible so you can plug in either way. 80% smaller, adapter is going to be available for the 30 pin style, so don't worry. And they talked about iOS 6. That was really the gist on the iPhone 5, actually. It's mostly stuff that we'd see, and they showed turn by turn and maps, which is great, it works pretty well. Uh, you can now share tabs with the desktop. It's quite creatively called uh, iCloud tabs. They're new mail enhancements like VIP, etc. cetera. Uh, they showed Siri enhancements as well. You can now launch apps by voice. Tim Cook came back. Oh yeah, I talked about when this phone was going to be available. It's gonna be available in two colors, black and white. The white version has an aluminum back. The black one has a black anodized backing. Same pricing as the 4S. So 16 gig for 199, 32 for 299, and a 64 for 399. No 128, like people might have thought. September 14th pre-order starts. It's two days from today, which is Friday. It's gonna ship the following Friday, September 21st. iPhone 4S got a little cheaper now, 16 gig for 99. And the iPhone 4, eight gigabyte version is going to be free. And then Eddie Q came up to talk about iTunes. That was when everybody got up to take a bathroom break. Uh, design's gonna be the same as the iPad and the iPhone. I got an edge to edge design on desktop, lots of subtle iTunes update and a new mini player. And then everybody got excited again and started talking about iPods. And there's a lot of updates to iPods. Let's start with the Nano. For those of you keeping track at home, it's the seventh generation Nano. 38% uh, thinner, it's 5.4 millimeters thin, and it has a wider 2.5 inch multi-touch screen. It's got a home button, gonna be available in seven colors. So it's got an FM tuner with DVR functionality. So you can pause, and you could rewind all of your radio stuff, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can also watch videos and pictures on it now. Uh, it's got a fitness and pedometer stuff built right into it. 
Uh, Bluetooth audio streaming is in there. You got Bluetooth. So if you want to stream to your car, that is now an option. Or Bluetooth headphones are at the gym. You keep that tucked into your pocket. It does have the lightning connector and it's going to give you 30 hours of music playback. And then they got to the iPod Touch, which has a lot of updates there. But let me go ahead and take a minute to thank our friends in Nissan for hooking us up with some sponsorships for all of our iPhone 5 coverage. They got a lot of cool stuff going on in their innovation garage. Some of the world's best ideas happen in the garage, much like Apple. That's where they were founded. That's where all the stuff was built. Music, computers, electric cars, the list goes on. Well, Nissan's created their own virtual garage to help you bring your ideas to life. It's called Nissan's Innovation Garage. Submitting your ideas is super easy. Go to NissanInnovationGarage.com. Your ideas don't have to be limited to cars. You're only limited by what you can imagine. This is what I would imagine my innovation garage. I'd pull a car in and it would panel would come up and pull the car down and a new panel would come up so you can have a one car garage size but park two or three cars in it. Uh, I've seen these in giant buildings um, in, in Europe and Asia. It'd be cool to have it right in your own garage. So go ahead to check them out at NissanInnovationGarage.com and submit all your innovation ideas. So we got all excited over the iPod Nano. What about the other big boy, the iPod Touch? The new one is 6.1 millimeter thin and weighs 88 grams. Uh, aluminum back and a retina display. Same retina display as the iPhone 5. It's got the A5 processor in it, same as the new iPad. So it's now gone dual core. Battery life though is super awesome. Uh, can play 40 hours of music or eight hours of video. Uh, camera also got a serious update. It's a five megapixel iSight camera. It's got panorama mode in there as well as does the iPhone 5 and then they surprised everyone Apple unveiled a wrist strap now called the iPod touch loop Apple revolutionized the strap and it's gonna be available in every color uh, it's gonna come standard with every uh, iPod touch Siri now found its way to the iPod touch so that's pretty awesome uh, pricing uh, $299 and $399 for $32.64 uh, it's gonna be shipping in October and then Things got a little stranger. Uh, the ear pods, ear buds, whatever you want to call them that Apple have been shipping with are gone now. We got something new and they are called ear pods. Ear pods. They talked about three years in design, how it angles audio, and it's going to sound better. Those are going to be shipping today, but they've included with all of the new products, iPhone and iPads. They look bulbous and sort of pod like. Anyway, guys, are you excited about the iPhone 5? Are you going to be pre ordering any of the new iPods? Love to hear what you have to say. Of course, we'll have them all right here on Techno Buffalo. Make sure to check us out for the latest and greatest tech news. I'm going to exhale. I'm John Rettinger. I'll see you in the next video.